Hey everybody, it's Dr. Daniel Choi here at North Texas Dental Surgery Wisdom Teeth and Denture Implant Center. And I was doing a video for our Instagram story. Um, by the way, follow us on Instagram at North Texas Dental Surgery. Um, and we have, um, you know, obviously before and after, see what we're doing at the practice, but also some pretty cool cases and kind of shows like what happens during surgeries or whatever. So, um, but anyways, we were actually filming one of our uh, patient's wisdom teeth extractions for the Instagram story and I, um, wanted to share some of my thoughts about how this could have been a pretty big complication. So um, this patient is 30 years old, obviously he had a big cavity here on this tooth. It's a horizontal impaction, um, not too close to the nerve, but also he decided to get his uh, three other wisdom teeth out, so all four of these. And then, you know, obviously what we do is we get 3D scans on all of our patients. And what I was seeing um, on this one, obviously I wasn't really worried about the nerve, by the way, that's the nerve right there, inferior alveolar nerve. Um, but one thing that was like, uh, I was thinking about that potentially could happen is this patient had a pretty big undercut. Now, I don't want to go through all the mechanics of it, but this is a, you know, this is a 3D scan. Um, and what you can see is in this sagittal view, it's a slice that you can see um, a cross section. So this is like the cheek, this is the tongue, obviously the upper tooth, this would be the roof of the mouth up here. Um, but anyways, um, this here is the floor of the mouth um, and what can happen sometimes if this bone is thin when we're taking out the wisdom teeth the wisdom tooth or the roots can pop into this this flap of uh, the space underneath your underneath your gums in your tongue called the pterygomandibular space and what can happen is that can lead to complications um, of this you know obviously this tooth being in that space it can be a little unsettling um, and you know even potentially cause some infections so that's just like, you know, as with many things in life where if you have a potential, you know, complication, it's just one thing that we definitely want to avoid versus trying to deal with it or um, surgically remove it or just trying to live with it. So um, again, like what can be some of the issues that can happen if your tooth goes into that pterygomandibular space? Well, um, one thing is it, it can cause infection. Um, again, not all the time, but it can cause infection. So it definitely would be need to, need to be removed. Um, another thing is that um, even if it didn't cause infection, it was in that space, it can be a little bit unsettling because it's down in that space. Um, so sometimes you could actually feel it like with your, like, you know, I'm not going to go and touch my mouth right now because my hands aren't clean, but you would be able to feel like a little bit of a lump because that tooth is not where it was, it was originally, but it's in the, like a, like a space closer to your tongue. So if you swallow, you might be able to feel it. You could feel it with your finger. If like your food is passing by, you might be able to feel it. Um, so those are some of the side effects that you might experience. Um, so obviously you would definitely want to probably, um, you know, if it does, if it does bother you, then you would definitely want to get it removed if this ever happened to you, but it would require, um, a definitely a more invasive surgery, which is pretty difficult. And so, um, you know, the way that I like to deal with situations is obviously or any complications, I want to avoid them from the, in the first place. I don't want to deal with a situation like that. So funny thing is that, um, this actually happened to one of my friends um, when we were doing his wisdom teeth extraction about five, six years ago. Um, again, this is a complication that you do see here and there, but um, what has really helped us is having that 3D scan. So when you do see cases like this, um, where I say, all right, this is something I need to definitely be aware of, and I'm, the way that I'm gonna extract this teeth, um, I'm gonna actually change my strategy and the way that I do my cuts and the way that I rotate and lever these teeth, uh, the roots out of there. So, um, and again, with uh, fortunately for my friend, um, you know, he I was able to get that tooth out of there. But again, it can't, you know, it's it's like you know, for, even for us as surgeons, like it does make it a little, a little bit more stressful for us with having to deal with those complications. And you know, I don't like to be stressed out, so I like to be properly prepared. And again, like now having CT scans for like the last you know four or five years at our practice, and we do it on every single patient, um, it really helps us to be prepared. Um, for these cases so that, you know, again, we don't deal with the complications, we prevent the complications from occurring in the first place. So what can we really learn from this? Um, again, make sure that when you're getting your wisdom teeth out, make sure that your surgeon is going to get a 3D scan because, and hopefully they're going to study that 3D scan because what that's really going to help them do is really help them strategize in regards to how they're really going to take that wisdom tooth out because not, 
Um, we don't really take out every single wisdom teeth the same way. A lot of the times it is the same strategy, but again, the little nuances like you know a thin lingual plate can really make me more conscientious about my strategy in regards to taking that tooth out. So hopefully this information was helpful for you guys. Again, you can always follow our Instagram channel too because you'll see us on a daily basis on what we're doing with our patients and surgeries and any thoughts that we might have about any single patient's uh, cases. So hopefully you guys found this information helpful. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and follow our channel. Thank you. Bye.